Hi, welcome back. Hello everybody and welcome back. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys? Hi, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I love my YouTube channel. I love YouTube. I love being on YouTube. Like I just love my channel like so much. Really excited to be back on my channel. As you guys know, it's been a minute. It's been like two weeks. Today we have a super fun, exciting video because guys, I hit a milestone. I hit like a goal of mine. I got to 50,000 followers on TikTok. Woo! hit 50k on TikTok. I can't even believe that I finally hit 50k. Like this is such a milestone. It feels like such a big deal. I'm so proud of myself. I truly have been working months on months on reality TV content, fashion content, LA content, gay content, wigs content, parody content. I finally hit 50,000 followers on TikTok. So we are doing a celebratory video on YouTube to celebrate 50K. And I'm also going to be sharing with you guys TikTok tips that you need to know if you want to grow a following on TikTok. I've only hit 50K, so there is only so much that I can tell and teach you guys. I'm not at a million, but I feel like as somebody who started out from nothing, on TikTok, started with zero followers. I didn't have a famous friend that get, gave me a bunch of followers. I truly worked day in and day out. And if you are watching this video and you have been with me since 10K, since 5K, whatever it has been, thank you for supporting me for this long. We did it, like we feel like we really did this together. So we finally hit 50K. So I really wanna share with you guys how I hit 50,000 followers and share some tips with you guys on how you could hit 50,000 followers too, or how you can just get your TikTok um, off, off of the ground. How you guys can build a TikTok following because it's not easy. I think that some people on TikTok do get lucky and have a viral video and then all of a sudden they gain like a million followers. That does happen a lot, but other people like me, smaller creators, constantly thinking and brainstorming of new ideas on how to keep my followers entertained and keep a loyal, strong audience. And I think that's why I gained 50,000 followers on TikTok. I kind of just want to talk a little bit about how I gained my followers and share my story and give you guys tips. So I started posting on TikTok in June, I think it was July. Well, I got, I've had TikTok for over a year. I've, I've had it, no, like about a year. Yeah, I've had TikTok since last March, March, 2020, but I didn't start posting on it seriously with the idea of wanting to gain a following and create a brand until about five months ago, I would say. My first viral video on TikTok was in July. I made a video about all the people that I met from The Bachelor, because I've met a lot of Bachelor contestants. So I made a video talking about my experiences meeting these Bachelor contestants. Some of the contestants included Tyler Cameron, Colton and Cassie, Caitlin Bristow, and a lot more. So when I posted that video, I had no idea that it was going to blow up. I've never had a video blow up before. The video ended up hitting over 400,000 views. After that video went viral, it clicked in my head that I needed to be making more videos like this. Because br before on my TikTok, I had it, I was posting dance videos, just like random stuff. Because everyone on TikTok thinks when you sign up for the app that you have to be a dancer. You see Charlie, you see Addison, you see Bryce, the Sway Boys. And you just think that you have to be dancing to make videos to be viral on TikTok. That is not the truth. You can make TikTok about anything. You can be on food TikTok, on reality TV TikTok, on fashion TikTok, on Los Angeles TikTok, on travel TikTok. I mean, there's business TikTok, um, everything. I make any content you want on TikTok and it could blow up and you could create a following. So for me, I talk about reality TV. Now in real life, I am also a on-air entertainment host. You know, you might have seen me on After Buzz TV. You may have seen me on Hollywire. I've done appearances on plenty of other talk shows. Um, I've been in LA for about a year and a half, so I'm really just making my way. So when I thought about my TikTok account, I figured out that this would be an amazing opportunity for me to grow a TikTok following because it would bring more awareness to my hosting career. I gain a following and show that I can host and do those type of news reporting on pop culture and reality TV. And I can also talk about my favorite reality shows and my favorite celebrities. And that is what I started doing on TikTok after that video on The Bachelor went viral. So I started making more Bachelor content videos. I did a Bravo Liberties I met, how I met this person, my experiences doing this. It kind of turned into me starting to do the news. I would talk about different TikTok stars. I would talk about reality stars. Just whatever was going on in pop culture, I became my own news source TV. And it baffles me 
And it blows my mind when I have people come to my page today, comment, I ran right to this, I ran right here after I saw this story broke. Or, or people who are like, I was waiting for you to post this. Somebody DM me once and was like, you are literally where I get my news. And I'm just like, that is so amazing to me because I have been working on my TikTok account every single day for the past six, seven, eight months. I just love how loyal of a following I've gained over that time. And it has not been easy, but it's been so rewarding. And I love that I've been able to see the growth every single week. So as we're talking about where I started on TikTok back in July when I did that first Bachelor video to where I am now, it's just honestly, it's so amazing. And I can't even believe that we just hit 50K. Like it's such a big deal and I'm just so, so thankful and proud. So I started posting um, reality TV news and pop culture news, but I really wanted to focus in reality TV. So that is when I changed my name from Zachary Weinberg, which is my full name, to Zachary Reality, because I was trying to brainstorm a name that stuck. And I didn't really like the name Weinberg. It just sounded very Jewish. Not that they're like love, obviously like I'm Jewish, but like it just sounded very like Weinberg. It wasn't just a super catchy name. So I really wanted to think like, what could I, do to kind of brand myself. So that's where reality came into place. We talk about reality TV, yes, but also I wanna share my reality and I do share my reality on TikTok, on YouTube, on my platforms. I love talking about my life, sharing, the th sharing my experiences, sharing me traveling, sharing different vlogs, sharing my life in LA, sharing my life trying to make it as an entertainment host, sharing my dating life. Reality is not just reality TV, it's also the reality of Zachary Reality. And my advice to you if you're trying to make it big on TikTok is start with the name and start with the bio. What do you do? Who are you? You want a catchy name. You want something that people can like think of. You know, if your name is hard to pronounce, maybe that isn't the username you need to have. For your username, you want to do something that is catchy, something that people are going to remember you by. What your username should sum up who you are and your brand as a whole. Step number two, create a bio. We only have so much room in the bio to describe who we are and what you can find on our TikTok pages. So make sure your bio says exactly what you do on TikTok and that your bio in two to three sentences or whatever it is sums up who you are as a person. I really recommend in your bio maybe sharing things like your um, astrology sign, share where you're from, what you do for work, what kind of videos you like, maybe a couple emojis that describe your personality. Your bio should really say who you are and what your TikTok page is going to be about. Number three, find your niche. Finding your niche kind of goes, goes hand in hand with your bio and your username. You need to find your niche. What do you post about? What is your, what's on your TikTok page? Your content on your TikTok page should all tie together. You don't wanna just post a bunch of random different videos if you're trying to build a following. What do you like? Do you like sports? Do you like television? Do you like celebrities? Do you like business? Do you like finance? Do you like fashion? Do you like vlogging? Whatever you like and whatever works for you, that is your niche and you need to post videos in the same category to grow. The next step is to be consistent. You literally have to post every single day on TikTok to grow. Like that is just the truth. If you miss a day, fine. But if you wanna grow on TikTok and you wanna grow up following fast, you need to be creating content every single day, multiple times a day. I post maybe five to seven videos a day on TikTok. If I am super busy and I don't have time to post, I'll probably post two to three videos just because every single day there has to be something on your page. And if you do not have time to film videos because you're maybe working or you have a busy schedule or you're out of town, then you need to film videos in advance, save it in the drafts and then repost it later. This way that there is content on your page every single day. Um, I think that is one of the clear ways to grow a following on TikTok is to constantly be posting every single day. You have to be consistent to grow on TikTok. So whenever there's a, a Real Houses of New Jersey episode or a Bachelor episode or a Summer House episode, come to my page and you will see my thoughts on that episode and we talk about that episode specifically. So that is how I've been able to con maintain a consistent schedule on my TikTok. Engaging with your audience is another way that you could grow on TikTok. There's a few ways that you can engage in your audience and this is what I do that has helped me grow a following. Number one, you go on TikTok Live. Now on TikTok, you cannot go on TikTok Live until you hit a thousand followers. And it's most more likely than not that you really don't have much of an audience until you hit a thousand followers, but maybe you do have a little bit of an audience before you hit that. But once you hit a thousand followers, you need to go on TikTok Live. 
connect with the people following you. The more people will want to watch you and get to know you, the more people get to know you, the more content you put out, the more people are going to want to come to your page and be invested in your life and buy your merch and like your posts. So I always recommend you know, putting out as much content as possible. And TikTok Live is a great way to do that because then people can talk directly to you. My followers will come on my TikTok Live, they'll ask me questions and I'll answer them. Or we'll talk about things or I'll share my life. I go on TikTok Live all the time and I'm just ranting or I'm eating dinner or I'm cooking or I am drinking wine or I even come on with some of my girlfriends when we're drinking. TikTok Live is a great way to interact with your followers and that is something that I have done that has helped me grow a following also going on TikTok Live pushes you out on the algorithm. It pushes you out on the explore page. When you go on TikTok Live, you can show up on more people's FYP. Your live can show up. Another way to engage with your audience is to reply to comments. It baffles me how people can just not reply to any comments and they wanna grow on TikTok, especially when they only have like four or five comments. Like, girl, I will have over 500 comments on my videos and I will still make an effort to reply to as many comments as I can, if not every single comment, until TikTok bans me to do so. If you um, comment too many times too fast or if you comment the same thing too fast, you will get banned from commenting because they think you're a spam for like 24 hours. So that has happened to me a few times when I've had viral videos and I've tried to reply to every single person. Um, and that is the most frustrating thing because I love being able to reply to comments on, pe on comments when people comment on my videos. So a way to grow on TikTok is to reply to comments. Even if you only have 40 followers on your TikTok, maybe your content got pushed out to the FYP and someone random commented on your video, reply to them. Even if you don't know them, reply. Um, I've really noticed that the more comments I've replied to, the more people followed me back on, followed me on TikTok. Like there's people who comment on my posts and they weren't following me before they commented on my post. It was on their FYP. But then when, once they saw that I replied to their comment, then they decided that they wanted to follow me. So it's really a great way to engage with your audience and bring new people in because you're engaging and you get to know your followers. I am so fortunate that I have been able to get to know so many of my followers that some of my followers have become some of my closest friends. And I know it sounds crazy, but I am sharing so much of my life on TikTok and on social media that some of my followers know me so well that I trust them and I talk to them and I lean on them and I look to them for advice. Um, I almost go to them more than I go to my friends and family in real life because, because they're the ones watching my content so they know what I'm doing day in and day out. So I can trust them more. Connect with your followers. Connecting with your followers and replying to comments is just a shoe in on how you're gonna gain more followers on TikTok and create a brand for yourself. You guys take these tips and you um, listen to them and acclimate them and be productive and film every single day and do these things that I'm telling you to do, you will gain more followers on TikTok. I promise you, I am talk telling you as somebody who has gained 50,000 followers on TikTok, somebody who has been doing it for day in and day out. Like I know what I'm talking about because I've actually had success while doing it over time. Another tip that I recommend is to not be afraid to take risks. Now, what I mean by that is don't be afraid to do something new. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you need to create a niche, but the more followers you gain, the more you are able to titty tatter around that niche so that you can create new types of content to keep people interested. If you sit too hard to your niche, then you're not coming up with anything new. Your content is, is still the same. It's nothing interesting after a while. Like you need to constantly be coming up with new ideas to entertain your followers. I think that really creative people are people that tend to do well on the app. I'm always thinking of new ideas. I'm always putting on new wigs, trying out new scenes, just anything that comes to mind to um, entertain my followers and for my followers to get to know me better. Oh my God, I just realized that this was in my pocket. So I'm glad that I fixed it. Um, oops. Constantly create new ideas. Maybe you can write things down. For example, I have in my notes app, I have a list of a bunch of TikTok ideas. So if I ever am stale on an idea and don't know what to post on TikTok, but I know I have to post on TikTok because like you have to post, then I will go to my notes app and I will check some ideas that I just haven't had a chance to do yet. Um, so I do want to talk a little bit about the TikTok algorithm and FYP. Now, every single person will get on the FYP at one point or another. I promise you that if you keep posting on TikTok, one of your videos will go viral. Like 100%, it happens to everyone. TikTok's algorithm is designed so that everyone can go viral at one point or another, I believe. If you're getting discouraged that you're not getting views, hang in there and keep posting good quality content. And I promise you one of your videos will end up hitting the FYP because it just happens to everyone. It's really just how you get all these people to follow you. 
after your video goes viral. It's how to keep maintain that audience and grow that following even more. Because your video can get a million views on the FYP if it just hits the algorithm and that's what happens. But do you, are all those millions of people going to follow you on TikTok? Are they all gonna continue to comment on your posts? Not unless you do all these other tips that I'm telling you to do. Because eventually one of your videos will hit the algorithm. Now when it comes to like posting times, I personally don't care about a schedule and like a posting time. When I post like certain times a day, I'll post like after The Bachelor ends. Like I know I have to post at that time because that's when all my followers were done watching The Bachelor, everyone's running to my TikTok to watch it. So that's kind of where my schedule will land. But as far as like what time a day I post every single thing, I don't care so much about that. I wouldn't think too deep into that. Now I have heard a long time ago that the best times to post are 10 a.m. 2 p.m. and then anytime after 8 p.m. because a lot of people do go on TikTok at night. And I even recommend posting right before you go to sleep. I just feel like so many people are like scrolling through TikTok on the middle of the night. So your your, your video is most likely to go viral um, if you just post in the middle of the night, I believe. Should you close out the app right after you post a TikTok? Yes and no, because I believe that it's not good to look. You don't want to psych yourself out or be mad that you're not getting enough views or comments or likes. You should post a video, close out the app, look back in about 30 minutes to an hour, maybe two hours if you really don't want to, and then go back and reply to all the comments of the people that commented. TikTok will push out your video to the FYP if they see you engaging and commenting back in more on and see you commenting back at more people's comments. So I do, th I do think it's good to close out the app, but don't close out the app and not look for 10, 12 hours. Maybe close out the app and not look for an hour or two and then come back, reply to a bunch of comments. And then it is what it is. I wouldn't worry too much about not getting enough views in a few hours or six hours because sometimes videos will blow up in like eight to 10 hours or maybe even a couple of days. However, I do feel like a lot of videos will stop hitting the FYP after two to three days or maybe even three to five days um, just because it was already posted and that's just kind of how the algorithm works. But I don't know, some people have found that their videos will blow up like months later. So tip number seven or eight, I'm not really sure who's counting. Hopefully you are or hopefully when I'm editing, I can like put this together. Collaborate, make connections. So a really great way to blow up on TikTok is to collaborate with other TikTokers in your niche. So for example, I do a lot of reality TV content. I have been able to make a lot of friends in the reality TV content creating space. A lot of my friends also create content around Bravo TV or reality TV. So it only makes sense for the two of us or the three of us or whoever to come together to make a TikTok video together. Doing collaborations with other TikTokers in your niche merges your audiences together. For example, you guys know Morgan Talks on TikTok. She is a reality TV content creator. She films a lot of similar content to me. Me and her talk all of the time. We've done plenty of videos together. We've done a podcast together. We do Instagram lives together. We're always collaborating and communicating. It's a great way for our followers to get to know each other. We're not the exact same, we're different people, but we do have a lot of similar content. We do have a lot of the same audience because our content is similar. We also have different audiences because different people have found us from different parts of the country. So when we merge and do different collaborations, her audience reaches me, reaches my page, and then my audience reaches her page. And it's a great way for both of us to grow on social, on TikTok, and across all platforms. So merging your audience and collaborating with different TikTokers in your field is will be a great way for you to gain more followers on TikTok. And it's also fun to just make relationships and talk to people. Like even if me and Morgan, or me and Mike, or me and Kempire, or me and the Talk of Shame, these are just some of my favorite Bravo TikTokers. Even if we didn't want to collaborate, just communicating and maintaining a relationship and being able to bounce ideas off of each other and give each other advice and just kind of support each other. It's just really nice to have, it's just comforting. It's comforting to have a friend, it's funny. We're able to share jokes and just kind of talk about different comments we might get. My next piece of advice is if, if you wanna be a TikToker, but you want to bring your career to other platforms, you're gonna need to remind your followers to follow you on Instagram, on YouTube, maybe you have a podcast, maybe you're doing this or doing that. Reminding your followers to follow you on other social media platforms. I mean, I don't know if you're just trying to become a TikToker or if you just wanna be an influencer or whatever you wanna be. For me, who is someone who is um, creating content on all different forms of platforms, I am constantly reminding my followers to follow me on YouTube, on Instagram, and on my podcast and wherever else, because I am creating content on my Instagram, on my YouTube, and on my podcast. 
and it all links together. I mean, you have to be active on all platforms to get people interested in you. Nobody wants to follow someone that doesn't post. And you really just have to post. And you really just gotta take away, is no one gonna like it? Is no one gonna view it? You really just have to get that mindset out of your head and just constantly post and create new content and find new ways to entertain and be consistent. And I promise you, you will grow a following on TikTok. I promise. So I have been doing all of these things on TikTok that has helped me grow. Now, after all of my hard work, I'm starting to see results. I'm seeing the followers go up. I hit 50K. Um, I recently, last week, just posted my first brand ad deal with iTouch wearables where I got a Kendall and Kylie watch and was able to create an ad. So amazing. It really felt like everything I've been working towards was just such a milestone moment to create my first ad for TikTok. And I'm really looking forward to creating more ads. And on top of that, as many of you guys know, I do have merch um, because of my podcast. I do have a merch line and I am going to be doing a merch giveaway. So if you guys want to win the giveaway, you can go to my website and check out the merch. I'm going to be giving away two free items to the winner's choice, um, whatever they want. The giveaway is going to be on TikTok but there is bonus entries if you are following me on YouTube and you are um, subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you are here on YouTube, you have an extra chance to enter the giveaway. You need to comment below on this YouTube channel, just any comment, I just need to see your name and know that you commented. And you need to make sure you're following me on Instagram. And obviously, you know, give this video a thumbs up. I hope that's not too much to ask. You can enter the giveaway and win a free shirt from my website, from my merch line of your choice. Pretty much feel like I summed it up. I think I gave you guys about seven to eight tips and just kind of a general plethora of knowledge on how you can grow on TikTok and start creating TikTok content and a brand for yourself. And I'm also able to kind of share my journey about how I grew on TikTok and how I started growing on TikTok and what I did to become where I am at today and what I did to gain 50,000 followers on TikTok. I mean, guys, I did it. This video is a celebration. Like we literally hit 50K. We did it and I'm honestly just so happy and so excited. Our next big goal is obviously to hit 100K on TikTok, but I'm also really trying to grow on my podcast, on my YouTube, on my Instagram, and just overall as a social media personality, content creator, and influencer in the making. Oh my God, saying influencer is just makes me look a little uncomfortable, but I guess that's kind of what I am doing and what I am becoming. So I love to see the growth. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys learned something from this. Um, thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting me. If you have been supporting me, you can check out my merch and enter the giveaway and hopefully one of you will win. Um, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, especially if you wanna win the merch giveaway and make sure you're obviously subscribing. We're getting really close to 500 subscribers, which is my next goal on YouTube. So it's always like we gotta celebrate the 50K goal, but then we're always reaching towards more goals as well and to subscribe and I will see you guys next week on Tuesday for a brand new YouTube video <sighs> adios